So guys, it looks like it looks like Freddie Roach is saying that we will fight anybody. So he's speaking on Manny Pacquiao's behalf. He said if Spence is available, we're more than happy fighting Spence. So Manny Pacquiao, Freddie Roach is saying would want to fight Spence if he's available. However, Manny Pacquiao's actions didn't show that because he didn't have Manny Pacquiao on his... He didn't put uh, Pacquiao on his... Um, Spence, sorry, Spence on his Twitter poll. And a lot of you said, well, do you think Manny Pacquiao runs his Twitter poll? The thing is, guys, even if you're a Manny Pacquiao lover, you've got to understand, right, that Manny Pacquiao, nothing would be done without his permission. You know, the people that are running his Twitter won't be running it without Manny Pacquiao's permission. Otherwise, Manny Pacquiao will tell him to take that down. If... If, for example, someone without his permission done something on Twitter or his pop one of his PR team did something without his permission, do you think Manny Pacquiao would be happy? That person would be getting the sack because they're, they're spoiling Manny Pacquiao's public relationship. So, public relations. so there's no way that, that that poll was done without Pacquiao's permission. So everything would go through Pacquiao. Now, the thing is, I don't personally think that Manny Pacquiao was chomping at the bit fighting someone like uh, Errol Spence because it was a dangerous, dangerous fight. Um, I do think that Manny Pacquiao does not fear Errol Spence and I think Freddie Roach is right that we don't fear Spence. Um, but the thing is, he, there's other options out there that would make him probably as much money and they're not as big a risk. So now Freddie Roach talked about Mikey Garcia, Freddie Roach, you know, they're, they're talking about Thurman, but he, Freddie Roach didn't even mention Thurman. So... Are they even looking at Thurman? Because the, Freddie Rose said, if we don't get Mayweather, then we're looking at Mikey Garcia. Um, but if Spence is available, we're more than happy to fight Spence. We don't fear him. Um, but I don't think, I think Manny Pacquiao isn't going to fight Errol Spence right yet. I think that would be if it's like his last fight where he, you know, it would be like, you know, where it'd be all or nothing. Whereas to take that fight now, if he loses, you know, Pacquiao's too old now to lose. If he loses, you have to say, where does he go? You have to think about retiring. So he probably feels he could beat Mikey Garcia. He probably feels he could beat Thurman where he looks at the Spence fight and thinks that's a tough fight. That's a tough fight, you know, and it is a tough fight. You know, Pacquiao v Spence, that's a very tough fight for, for Pacquiao, especially at his age. You've got to understand Pacquiao's not a spring chicken anymore. So, you know, you've got to select your fights correctly. I'm not saying that he won't fight Spence. He will fight Spence, but when the time's right for him, you know, when he feels that, you know, he's done what he needs to and then he's willing to take a risk fight. Manny Pacquiao does not fear Errol Spence. But right now, from a business and financial point of view, it doesn't make that much sense for Pacquiao. Pacquiao's got, like I said, he's got to select and make the right moves because he's towards the back end of his career and one wrong move could end his career. If he loses, like I said, Pacquiao, there's nowhere for him to go. This is why I'm trying to say that it, the, the, the move has to be a right one. The move has to be a right one, you know. Um, it can't be. It can't be the wrong move because the wrong move, right, could end definitely end his his career. Um, so, yeah. So it's it's in, it's interesting. It's gonna be interesting what happens. But I do think that the Pacquiao Spence fight is not gonna happen yet. I think that would be when Pacquiao's thinking about retiring and that's his last fight because that's pa Pacquiao's a competitor. He'll jump into a fight with Errol Spence. But the thing is, he's got a team around him and the team want him to have a few more fights before he takes that risk fight. Uh, he probably looks at there's a few more paydays out there for him. You know, I think when he, when he, when he realises that Mayweather's not going to come to the table at all, then he'll plot a few fights and then he'll look to fight Spence or Crawford, whoever he feels is right at the time. Uh, whatever he feels is right at the time. So that's what I think Pacquiao's doing. I think Pacquiao's plotting the right move for himself. He's looking at these fights and thinking that, you know, wh which is the best move right now for me to take. And right now, Errol Spence isn't the right move. It's a very dangerous fight. It's a risky fight. And it's a fight which, you know, could potentially end Pacquiao's career if he loses. Any fight, any fight Pacquiao loses now could end his career. So it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. So he's, like I said, he's got to make the right move. He's got to make, definitely make the right move. Otherwise, he could be in trouble. So, yeah, uh, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys make of Freddie Roach saying, we don't fear Errol Spence? Uh, Manny Pacquiao does not fear Errol Spence. 
do you think Pacquiao should fight Errol Spence or do you think Pacquiao should go down a different route? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.